Greetings, people of the world! Matthew Mac with you here at Novora Autism for the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. It is year 2, day 46, for EDSS and The Realm Reborn. And last time, we were taking an opportunity to train some new adventurers who came to us to become part of the Signs of the Seventh Dawn's employ, and they have asked us to participate in a spying match with them, which we obliged, and in so doing, how to gain a greater sense of recognition and respect from the residents of Revenant's Toll. And, having so done this, Alpha Node, who was one of the witnesses, had told us that he plans to make a new group that can serve in conjunction with the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. We'll learn more about this, but first we have to complete the current challenge we did at the end of the last episode by speaking with Alpha Node. Thank you for coming, Edie. The world shifts and alters, and we, my friend, must be ever one step ahead of the chaos. What I propose is the formation of a new organization, a group that shall pave the way for a truly united Eorzea. So, we'll find out more about that in a moment. First choice of materia. Since I'm not using materia, we'll just take this one. A strength materia 4. So, let's go ahead and speak with Alpha Note again to take on his next challenge, entitled Recruiting the Realm. Alpha Node wishes to request your assistance for his new endeavor. Pray forgive me if I tread over old ground, but I would first speak of the grand plan. Since the advent of the Seventh Astral Era, the leaders of the three nations have been deliberating over an accord that seeks to, seeks to bring the disparate forces of Eorzea together into a single entity. A realm-wide grand company, if you will. The, mi the military might of such an institution would draw from every corner of the land and direct it against threats that no single nation could hope to overcome alone. Yet while the purpose of this hypothetical organization is undisputed, the logistics of its formation have become the source of endless debate. And the longer these discussions continue, the more I sense the impetuous towards unification draining away. Thus have I been campaigning for the creation of what might be considered a trial company. It will be on a much smaller scale than what we hope to eventually achieve, but capable of the same manner of unrestricted operation accorded to the science. Tis my hope that the successful utilization of such a force will lend momentum to the lagging deliberations. Also, being a primarily military outfit, I mean to assuage fears of its misuse by placing the fledgling organization under the authority of the Ant Ascendant. The Silence worked tirelessly to protect Eorzea and its people. But, you as, but as you yourself have witnessed with the Refugee Revolt, there are limitations to what even we can achieve. With this new company under the Silent's command, however, we will be capable of responding to a wider range of difficulties without straining our resources or overtaxing your formidable talents. The goals of my proposed organization and those of the Silent's are ultimately identical, a point conceded by all concerned. But before I can move forward with establishing this precursor to the true border-spanning Grand Company, it is yet necessary that I visit the three leaders and gain their official approval. A tiresome and time-consuming task, which is why I would ask that you accompany me on the journey and attend to the business of recruiting our inaugural members, while I am otherwise engaged with bureaucratic formalities. Alright. Thank you. It is reassuring indeed to know that the bringer of light and his discerning eye will be selecting our future allies. <laughs> You're putting a lot of high expectations on me there, Alphanode. Our first destination will be Limsa Let us rendezvous at Bulwark Hall. Alright. Well, since we're going back to where my grain company is located, I see it only makes sense that we will... And since we're not going to be doing any fighting, at least not for the time being, this is only fair that we change back into Grand Company uniform for this. So he wants to meet us at Bulwark Hall in Limsa so I will meet you guys back there in a moment. Alright, we have arrived in Limsa and standing at the entrance to Bulwark Hall with Alphanone, so let's go ahead and speak with him. 
Ah, there you are. I am ready to ascend to the bridge and speak with Admiral Blofuswine. While the Admiral and I are finalizing permissory boundaries and signing parchments, I would have you begin the recruitment process in earnest. I have, of course, endeavored to spread the word of our organization through various channels, but I believe a personal approach will reach many who may otherwise remain ignorant of the opportunity. As for potential members, tis of no matter should they already be pledged to another institution, only that they are willing to lend their strength when the situation demands it, and you needn't range into the countryside, the upper decks alone are populated with sufficient candidates to suit our purpose. Once you are satisfied with your recruiting efforts, meet me at the airship ticket counter that we might prepare for the next leg of our journey. Alright, so we have to find five people who we can possibly recruit on the upper decks, so let's stick with Grefar to go to the Johnny Wench, which is the Adventurer's Guild here in Limson Linsa, for those of you who are not familiar. And it is here where we will hopefully find the people we need to speak to. They will all be marked with the red circles. So it looks like we have to cover the Marauders Guild, the Math Castle, and even down here at Anchor Yard. So yeah, a lot of ground to cover. So let's not waste any more time and put a little spring in my step to see who we might be able to discuss the possibility of joining Alpha Node's Trial Grand Company with. So, starting out here at the Coral Tower, which is the Marauders Guild. Yeah, we haven't been here since year one, day 77. And that was, of course, when Edie had to do the necessary second warrior grinding in order to properly begin the, cha begin the challenge to becoming a Dragoon. So, it'll start with Reiner here at the top. Let's see what he has to say. Master Arthur knows the organization. Yes, I had heard the formation of this child company was his in the offing. Tis with regret, however, that I must decline your invitation. As commander of the Yellow Jackets, the protection of Limsa Luminsa must needs receive my full attention. Yeah, take into consideration that you must speak with everyone, but not everyone will accept your invitation to join this new organization. So now we'll switch over to the Aft Castle. So, who might we find among the, revel the revelers here of Hatchingtide? We might even include members of Maelstrom itself, but actually we're missing members of Maelstrom entirely. Who all can we find, if any, that we might be able to recruit? Well, to be honest, I was actually surprised some we haven't found someone yet. But we will. Hopefully, eventually, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know! And so far, we're not to the greatest of starts trying to find people in the Aft Castle. Well, since we know we have to go down to the southwest corner of the Upper Decks anyway, we might as well come here. Get Take care of the people who are over at this side, and then we'll swing past the Aft Castle again. So... How about Riol here? This is actually a familiar person to us because he was actually part of the company of heroes that we met back in year one. Well, if it ain't Edie, I not forget a venture of brave enough or daft enough to seek the shortcut into Titan's bedchamber. You remember old Riol, don't he? For many of the company of heroes, three whistles of bronze lake. I, it ain't often I drag me ass out to Limsa for a drink, but I'm right glad I did. How fair are you these days? Hmm? You're looking to put together a new crew? Top tier work! Sounds like a right lock, it does. All right, lad, count me in. The heels may have gone their separate ways, but I ain't ready to climb into the meat grave just yet. Well, looks like we got a vote of confidence from Riol, and that's good to know. Yeah, bonus points if you can remember who else was a part of the Company of Heroes as well. Because there was quite a few of them that took us on the various challenges that we needed to do in order to gain access to the battle against Titan which took place on Day 52, and back in Year 1. So, now that we've gone through um, the first part, or hopefully the, the two, first two parts of the recruiting process, let's see if we can find anyone else that we might be able to draw in. 
And what about over here? Oh, the guild master of the black of the armorer's guild? Um, I'm thinking she might not be privy to this. A precursor to a united Eorzean Grand Company? Hmm. While you do admire the scope of your ambition, my responsibilities here at Nordic Invermelis keep me close to the forge. I have not the time to be tracing hither and yon across the realm. Should you require my skills in as an armorer, however, I might be willing to accept some special commissions. And that's perfectly understandable, and we can respect that. Yeah, we can't always shoot for the stars, if you will. I mean, so sometimes you gotta aim just a little bit lower. But is there anyone in the building itself that we can recruit? Um, not by the looks of it. No. Alright, so that means we still need to find two more people. Somewhere here in the aft castle. And to be honest, I'm quite surprised it's actually taking this long. Maybe there's someone to find over here in the missing member, a local pub. Rosewen? Hey, who in the bloody hell do you think you're talking to, Drylander? I'm a pirate, not some sort of knight in shining plate. If you're looking for a self-righteous drop, try knocking on that candy, dandy Carver Lane's door. <laughs> yeah, waste no time in giving us the boot. Oh, there was someone we missed. Oh, we actually missed someone in the Marauders Guild. Possibly. Alright. For some reason, I thought we had that area dealt with and cleared out. I really should pay attention to the red circles more. Alright, back to the Marauders Guild then. By the way, it's actually snowing outside where I am. Yeah, you know, a last ditch effort at snow for this year. So where's this Carvalane? Is he out perhaps by the Culinarians Guild? Um, might be a bit of a stretch though. Yeah, because I don't, because yeah, I'm outside the red circle and there's no hide nor hair of this Carvalane. Maybe he's out over here somewhere. Maybe we just walked right by the guy and we didn't even notice him. Because it's known to happen. I am known to walk by people unknowingly. Um. Oh yes, here this is the person I speak looking for. Carvalane. An organization with the freedom to operate with territorial impunity. I must say proposal intrigues me. Both the Krakens well know that there is a time to act, and a time to watch, and I'm afraid this trial company of yours falls into the latter category. Yeah, so unfortunately we could only get one sus- we could- a suspect, a recruit. <laughs> yeah, I, I suspect it will take more than just one person to be able to bring this together. It's gonna take a lot more than just one in order to achieve what Alpha Node has in mind. So we're gonna make a mad dash for the lift and speak with Alpha Node over at the airship landing. Alright. Hey Alpha Node. Not much luck, unfortunately. Edie, your recruiting went well, I trust. I am curious as to how my proposal was received by the rough and ready folk of Limsa Laminsa. As a member of Ah, a member of the legendary company of heroes indicated his interest. Astonishing. I knew enlisting your aid was the right choice. Few could boast the acquaintance of such an ooze of character. I too was successful in my task. The Admiral consented to sign all documents which required her approval. I can only hope that my visit with the Elder Seeds here proceeds as smoothly. Pray continue on to Cadania at your own pace. I shall await your arrival at Norfolk Azalta. And so, as Alphano departs on the airship, I think we will too. Because it's actually cheaper than using the Aetherite. So, we're passing, purchasing passage to Gridania. So, back in a moment at Norfolk, we're at Norfolk as well. And it's Norfolk's altar, by the way. Norfolk's well 
is that's actually a real place. It's actually um, in Western Thanlin, south of where the Signs of the Seventh Dawn's old headquarters was located in the Waking Sands. Well, anyway, off and out. My audience with the Elder Seeds here is due to commence momentarily. I would be grateful if you would once more see to the task of recruitment here in Gridania. After you deem the well of potential candidates has run dry, let us rendezvous at the airship ticket counter as before. And so, persons of interest we want to speak to are going to be around Miketo's Amphitheater, Akalu Falls, and even the Lancers go, which means we get the opportunity to go home as far as where our training as a warrior of light began. So, our first stop is Miketo's Amphitheater. And I'm sure one of the, all of you are wondering, are, am I going to come over here and take the Hatching Tide Challenge? The answer is no, because I had the opportunity to show that off in my first um, stream on World Autism Awareness Day. So, because I already did that, there's no further need to, tr to do it again with Edie. I did that with my first avatar. So let's start by speaking with Laurentius. This is actually a man we met before. Oh, Golds, can it truly be you? By what fickle, fickle fortune must I see the Yeah. <laughs> By what fickle fortune must the first face I see upon my release be yours? Yeah, this guy was a traitor to the Wood Whalers. Hey, could it be that you don't remember me? It is I, the man whose crimes you exposed. I was a whaler and a regular patron of Buscarons. Yes, now I remember. Well, of course you do. I was beginning to wonder if jail had changed me more than I realized. Not that I have any particular wish to be recognized after my shameful conduct. Hmm. The less said of my past, the better, I suppose. And what have you, adventurer? What business brings you to this part of Gridania? Recruiting, eh? And what is your policy on reformed convicts? As matters stand, the Woodwellers will have not more to do with me. This may be just the second chance I was looking for. Revenant's tall, you say? I shall leave at once. You shall not regret this. I promise you I am a changed man. Well, let's hope you prove it. Because if you don't, you'll have to answer to me. Again. So, next stop is going to be... Uh, we, we can run to the next area we need to go to because there is no Aetherite close by. But yes, Apkalu Falls is our next destination. Now, Apkalu Falls is an interesting place because, um, I don't know if I've had the opportunity to show this off yet, but if you come over here to Apkalu Falls, there's actually something and someone you can speak to. Um, we'll deal with Alian in a minute, in a minute but first let's speak with Jonathus, Master of the Rolls. Hello there, young one. How very kind of you to offer a daughter an old man like me a bit of company. Tell me, do you like tales? I do like a good tale, especially true ones told by them as have lived it. If you have any of your own to be sure, I'd be all ears. So yeah, if you share a tale with Jonathus, depending on what you've done over the course of the game, he'll actually give you rewards. So, let's start sharing some tales with him. Oh, a marvelous achievement worthy of song! And you lad recounted it with such vim and vigor, I almost saw it all through your bright young eyes. You've done this lordly old man a kind turn, truly you have. Here's a little something as a show of my gratitude. And so this is for leave the Leaving a Good Impression 2 achievement. And if we speak with him again... Oh, I thought I, I, thought I had gotten everything. Oh, alright. That's weird. Oh, we got this. The Princely Hatchling. This is a little pet that we can have with us. Um, I won't be, use, be showing them off though. But I could have sworn. Yeah, I should have. Um... Okay, that's weird. Well, you know what? Well, yeah. I, th I think I've already gotten the it item, uh, the other item I was interested in. I may have gotten it already. Anyway, let's speak with Alian and see how she reacts to us recruiting her into this new company that Alphanode wants to create. Isodor, must you call it a day? Let us return to the guild and rest our your torment and back gives upon you for good. I am terribly sorry, we were just a... Oh, Edie, is it? It has been some time since I passed across that side of Copper Belmans. 
Why, you are barely more than a novice adventurer then. But look how far you've come. Mother Leon tells me it was you who felled the fearsome black wolf. And now you seek start hearted souls to fill the ranks of a new order? Hmm. Well, your cause is undoubtedly just, and my old companion here will be much relieved to see me in good hands. Yes, yes, I'll do it. This is the very thing I've spent my entire fishing career working towards. I shall join your company just as soon as I've seen Isoldale safely home. Well, that's another vote of confidence that we've obtained. I mean, two for two. Hopefully we can keep going. We can stay on a roll here. So, next person we're going to be looking for, I'm guessing, is going to be out towards this direction. I was right. Yeah, remember Ursendel? He guided us towards the direction of Hawk Manor, one of the main story locations that we had to go to back in year one. Hey there, Ursendel. You would offer this old man a place in your company of champions? I am both puzzled and honored by your invitation. Pray forgive me, young master, but I cannot accept. I have sworn to abide here for whatever scanty is remain to me, and bear responsibility for the evils my lady has brought upon this land. Yeah, so his refusal is out of humility more than anything else, still feeling a tremendous amount of shame that he has been burdened with over his years. And quite frankly, what happened to Hawk Manor? I mean, can you really blame him for acting the way he has? So who is the last person we need to speak to on possibly joining? Sengeld of the Wood Whalers? Can we convince a Wood Whaler to join us? Hmm, tis not often the guild officer such as myself gets recruited, and this company of yours certainly sounds to have some promise, but its duties appear less than focused. I must refuse your invitation until such time as your organization is more organized. Well, we, bad we went 50-50 here in Gridania. Hey, it's better than going one for five, right? Alright, so... so we'll go back to the Aetherite Plaza and speak with Alpha Node back over at the airship landing. And quite frankly, I'm sure we could all afford to get out of this rain. But yeah, it's always so much fun and it's always so nostalgic to come back here to Gadania and back to where this journey began for me back on March 26, 2014. The nostalgia here is certainly wonderful, and hey, you know there, Mother Mune. I always like when we speak to you. Let's see what you have to say. Greetings, Evie. Is it a pleasure indeed to welcome living legend to my humble establishment? Is there a lot I might get you? Some tea, perhaps? Or maybe some of my eel pie? It would be a pleasure and an honor both. All I would ask in return is that you regale me with a story or two before you journey on, that I might share your tales of glory with those who would follow in your esteemed footsteps. Well, we'll just say that was that it happened, but for now, we must go back to Alpha Node and let him know that we're ready to head on our way to our next location. Hey, Alpha Node. What news, Edie? For my part, the Elder Seed Seer was most amenable to our requirements. A former wood whaler and a seasoned adventurer, our company will not lack for variety that much is certain. An interesting harvest indeed. Shall we strike into Aldar whilst the iron is hot? Let us meet at the Royal Promenade and endeavor to conclude our remaining business. Our journey draws to a close. So, time for us to fly out to Aldar. Back in a moment once we get there. And so we have arrived here at the Royal Promenade, staining right at the steps to where the Sultana's chambers are located. So let's go ahead and speak with Alphanon to start recruiting here in Uldar. Uldar, the gilded city where one's fortune defines one's worth. I hope some manner of fortune is with us, and that this final leg proves as successful as the previous two. Might I suggest descending to the lower level before beginning your recruitment efforts? I do not think the Sultana will take kindly to us poaching from her personal guard. Let us meet back here at the promenade when our respective tasks are complete. Good hunting, Edie. Alright, and so now... The best way, I guess, to do that would be to... Go over to... I'm guessing it'll be the Weaver's Guild will be the best way to approach this because... Old Dodd's Steps of Thaw are vast. 
and Weaver's Guild serves as a very centralized location for our purpose. In fact, by the looks of it, I think we might even be able to get a recruit over here. Sister Ursen from St. Adama Landama is actually paying a visit to here to Old Oz, so let's see if she wants to join us. Oh, what a happy coincidence! Do you remember me, perchance? I'm Orson of the Church of St. Adama Landama. Thank you again for your timely rescue. And I must also thank you for preventing that fortunate priest from preying on Drybone's less fortunate. A most upsetting business. Are you here with your companion? Uh, Thancred, was it? Actually, it's Alpha now this time. Ah, oh, tis new companions you seek then. Your proposed organization sounds like a powerful force for good, but my place is at the Church of the Children. Nevertheless, I wish you well in this undertaking. Yeah, you're not going to have much luck trying to recruit a priestess. Maybe if it was Lunar 1, Lunar the Silver Star story, then maybe you could, but no, unfortunately not in this case. And for some reason, we might be able to find a recruit here at the Weaver's Guild of all places. A yellow moon by perchance? I'm sorry, you wish to recruit me? Is this some new fashion manner of pro propositioning to a lady? Well, I'm afraid you're wasting your time. This lady is already spoken for. Good day to you, sir. <laughs> well, yeah. We, we were looking in the wrong place there. Like, why would we want to recruit someone who's into fashion? <laughs> so the next part of our recruiting looks like it'll be over at near the Gladiators Guild. So let's go over there. Yeah, somewhere on the Gladiators Guild we might find a person or two of interest. Where's this person? Willred. Alright, Willred. Wait, you're the man who came look to our little Amigo looking for that moss devil. Who knows what might have happened if you hadn't? I'd probably be dead, and a whole lot more than my friends besides. We were such fools. Yeah, back around day 40 or 41, back in day in year 1, we actually helped this young man and his friends. We actually saved them from getting slaughtered by a whole bunch of the Amalja. Any road, that disaster really got me to thinking about our homeland and about the outsider who saved us from ourselves. I realized how easily I'd been manipulated and vowed to make myself a more worldly man. So, here I am. A new company of champions? And you say it will take me to all corners of the realm? That sounds like exactly like the kind of opportunity I need. And don't worry, I'm not the same stripling you met in Little Lot Amigo. I prepare myself to fight the evil I know now is out there. So we know we've got his support, so the main two are actually going to be over in the market area, in the marketplace. So we actually do want to go back to the Weaver's Guild for this next part because it is the closest area to the marketplace here in Old Dock. So, Weaver's Guild! And so we're gonna head north. We're gonna go back towards Pearl Lane for this one. Yeah, we were actually speaking with the people, the refugees, not a few days ago about the problems that were going on around here involving them. And once you know it, it's that exact person of interest, Landbert, who we're gonna speak to in terms of possible recruitment. Have you come to tell me the news, soldier? Well, I've already heard it. Seems the will-be savior of all those refugees went and got himself killed, and not by your hand. He was just as much a pawn as the hapless cast offs he sought to deceive, eh? That's not why you're here? Aye, you'd be surprised what rumors drift down to Pearl Lane. I know of this glorious new company of yours, and just how far I'd go to avoid getting involved with it. Whispers on the streets say your organization is founded by corrupt coin, by syndicate money. If you think you're recruiting for a just cause, then you're a bigger fool than I took you for. Uh, does he know something we don't? Well, let's hope he's wrong about that. And let's make our way, try and find the person of interest that's here on the marketplace that we might be able to speak with. Synth God, yeah, we actually... Um, took a couple of quests from this guy, including, um, in one such situation, his friend Seabolt helped us get to the dungeon known as Cutter's Cry. So let's speak with Simcott here. A company that looks to cure the ills of the realm entire. Listen, friend, I can scarce bear the complaints of the next all over, let alone the conundrums of a neighboring nation. Well, 
Turns out, going over to the marketplace wasn't such a good idea for recruiting. And as the sun rises, hopefully we'll have much better fortunes by when we speak with Alpha Node once again. So we'll run our way right back to the Gate of the Sultana. No, the Chamber of Rule, because the Gate of Sult the Sultana takes us out of Ulda. Uh, I do not know my directions sometimes. Uh, Mas Masanella, you, you, you're like a curse on me. You're, you're a hilarious, you're a hilarious but terrible curse on me. All right, Alpha Node. How fared you, Edie? Walt's hidden gems through the streets of Uldal offer up to your unrelenting gaze. Well, if you must know. Hmm, a single Olamegan youth? Well, you've certainly given us an admirable start, even if our ranks are yet somewhat thin. It's these troubled years following the calamity. Talk for yours, your salvation must seem akin to grasping at clouds. But there are those who have risen to the challenge nonetheless. And the hope that inspires these people was born in no small part from the victories you yourself have won. Thank you, Weedy. I will not squander the precious gift you have placed into my keeping. These recruits will become the foundation of a new beginning. And yes, we are free to begin. As you have no doubt surmised, the Sultana also greets my shah company with her blessings. Our first wave of recruitment is over. The document's signed and the finance is secure. There is not to prevent me from taking the next step. And what's that? You are concerned by the Syndicate's involvement. Yeah, we did hear about that from the refugees. As was I. Thus was the origin of every coin of their uh, contribution carefully scrutinized and recorded. This organization will not be built on corruption. Naturally, I prefer not to rely upon outside sources at all. But even my family's substantial coffers cannot sustain a venture of this magnitude. And as for the rumors and doubts surrounding this enterprise, well, such things shall plague us until the company has had a chance to prove its worth. It will not be an easy process, but we will earn people's trust one success at a time. Speaking of time, we should waste no more of it. Let us return to the Rising Stones and lay the first stone for our united Aeolzia. Well, let's hope that Alpha Node's statements have merit. So it looks like we're flying out of Old Dawn uh, this night. And so we're gonna make our way back towards Mordona. Actually, I think this is just Alpha Node by himself. I do not believe I am accompanying him. Well, there's the Sultana, Nanamo. And of course, she has bestowed her blessings upon the introduction of this trial company. And hey, there's General Ralbon. Hey, General. It's been a while. Tell me, General. What think you of Alfino's bold endeavor? <laughs> I think it is more than bold, Your Grace. His organization would pave the way for a united Eorzea. Well do I understand his impatience, since facing the common threat of the Ultima weapon, our nations have seemed farther apart, not closer together. Considering the many problems we face, should we not be glad that someone else is taking the initiative? Seems like a good idea. We have all pledged our cooperation, yet the grumbling continues behind closed doors. Ulda is not alone in her duplicity. I myself have doubts as to the good this organization will achieve. But you have given your vote of confidence, though. With the inclusion though. of the finest soldiers of the three grand companies, it promises to be a fearsome military body. But whom will it serve? Even under the watchful gaze of the Scions, it is not unthinkable that such a force could perpetrate a great wrong. Does it not concern you that a significant proportion of its financial backing came from the coffers of the Syndicate? That those unprincipled worms might forge this extraordinary gathering of warriors into a private army? Oh. Sounds pretty I bad when you put it that way. I Scions, Your Grace. They have spared us no end of trouble at the hands of the Primals. If they seek reinforcements, I deem it unwise to deny them. As for their finances, full many gave generously. 
And though our nobles proffered a sizable sum, their coin did not spill from the pockets of Lolorito and his cronies. And what of the presence of our stalwart adventurer friend in this endeavor? I doubt the warrior of light would betray our cause. Of course not, General. I'm on your side. Yes, there is that, I suppose. Yet I have known people to change. Whether we will or no, the events of the age hurl us this way and that, like a dust devil skipping across the sands. Cannot be done about Talechi. Well, you're the Sultana. I have explored all avenues available to us, Your Grace. But as Uldan Law now stands, we lack the evidence to convict him of any crime. To arrest him on spurious grounds would only play into his hands. Ugh. Yeah, that pisses her off so much. He has all but committed treason, and yet we can do nothing? Yeah, the Sultana what has reason to be distressed. What worth the royal house? How deplorable this mockery of justice! Yeah, obviously the general is distraught by that too. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna need some consoling on this. Reason is going on within her borders, faith, and she can't grace. do anything about it. It is not over. Yeah, you have me on your side. I shall see it to it that right is done. So, back to the rising stones in a moment. And so we have returned to the Rising Stones, so let's speak with Alphino to complete this challenge. That is not a journey I soon wish to repeat. But I cannot pause to the rest. The culmination of all our effort is at hand. I must see to the preparations for the inaugural ceremony. Thank you for allowing me to monopolize your services, Edie. I am certain that the Ascendant will be relieved to see you free for other duties. And so with that, after all that work, we get 5,000 gil out of it. So, we're not quite done just yet, because what we do next will bring the patch 2.3 main storyline to its conclusion. So let's speak with Lady Ophelia. Oh, we're not done yet. Well, we might, we might as well still keep seeing this through to the end. So let's take on the next main challenge entitled Heretical Harassment. Minfilia appears eager to welcome you back to Revenant's Toll. Greetings, Edie. Alphano tells me all is in place to begin his trial company. The science shall certainly be grateful to have the support of such an organization. The inaugural ceremony is set to take place here at the Rising Stones. Tataru is cooperating with Alphanode to see that all is in readiness, so I'm afraid the recruits themselves have been left to their own devices for the time being. Quite a number of new faces have arrived in Remnant's Tall of late, and I wonder if Slathborn might not find himself overwhelmed. Would you speak with him and see if there's aught he requires? Alright, 